What's up everybody, this is AJ with eTrailer.com. Today, we're gonna look at what is the gross vehicle weight rating. Now that's gonna be an acronym. There's a lot of those when you start towing that can be a little bit confusing and feel like they're speaking a different language. So today we're gonna to break that down, but we can't break down the GVWR without explaining the gross vehicle weight. GVW is gonna be the gross vehicle weight. So that is gonna be your vehicle loaded with people, cargo, and fuel. You go to a scale and weigh how much all of that combined is with your vehicle. Then you have the gross vehicle weight rating, and that is going to be by the manufacturer. It's gonna be the maximum that your vehicle would handle fully loaded. So let's break down the gross vehicle weight a little bit more. So like we said before, it includes people, fuel, and cargo all loaded up with your vehicle weight. Something else that will add more weight to that is if you are towing. So tongue weight has a lot to do with that. If you have sometimes a bigger trailer like a conventional trailer, it can add from 10 to 15% of tongue weight to that rating. Also, if you have a bigger gooseneck or fifth wheel, that could potentially add up to 15% to 25% more tongue weight. So if you wanna learn more about tongue weight, we also have an article that's gonna be really helpful. Figuring out the GVW isn't that hard. The best option is really just to go to a scale. You can find one at a gas station or truck stops and you pull your vehicle on there, load with your cargo, your people, and your fuel and get that measurement. Now, you could try and add it all up yourself, but that's gonna be a pain and it might not be accurate. Now you don't feel like going and weighing your vehicle on a scale, there is another option. That's the gross vehicle weight rating. That is gonna be from the manufacturer and it's gonna be the maximum that your vehicle is gonna handle. So you can easily find that in your door jam or user's manual to let you know what to stay away from. So if you're just loading up with a little bit of cargo and some friends, you're not gonna exceed that. But it's something to keep in mind if you're thinking about towing too. It's recommended when your vehicle is fully loaded that it's 10% less than your vehicle weight rating. Hopefully that made sense of a few acronyms. There's plenty more out there that can get really confusing, but those are the important ones to know what you can haul with your vehicle. If you have any more comments or questions, leave them down below and we get back to you. If you like that video and you wanna see some other ones, you can click right here. If you wanna dig a little deeper on this topic, check out articles right over here. Then if you wanna see a playlist of our videos, they're right there. And if you click subscribe, you can check out some installs or some reviews.